Good morning, Cedar Park High School. It's Wednesday, January 16th, and it's an A-Day. I'm Ellen Neal. And I'm Evan Vines, and the WolfCast starts now. Finding yourself is hard, especially in high school. A lot of students at CPHS have unique hobbies to express their truest selves. Digital content manager Iriana Lipkin has more on a particular student. Thanks guys, I got to speak with a familiar face around campus, Dina Trouts, about how creating unique earrings helped her find herself throughout high school. So I've always loved creating things ever since I was little and I think the cool thing about making earrings is that you can make them out of anything. You can make them out of condiments or out of random things you find on the ground, and that's what I like to do. You never know what you will see dangling from Dina Trotz's ears. You may find aliens, glue sticks, Rubik's cubes, or even fish. Dina explains how creating these pieces help her express her individuality, something that so many of us struggle finding. So my earrings don't really have, like each pair doesn't really have a metaphor behind them or like a, a deeper meaning, but a lot of times if I'm out walking home or something, I end up coming home and finding that there's like tons of items and random things in my pockets and I pick them up when I'm on the way home because I think that it might make a cool earring and I end up making them into earrings and I can use them to my express myself later. Making some of these pieces don't just happen. Dina talked to me about how each face needs to be sketched out to have a cohesive look in the final product, but starting her company, Earwigs Anonymous, wasn't where her journey started. So when I was going into high school, I sort of felt a disconnect with who I was, and I never could really pinpoint where that was. I didn't know if it was that I didn't like what I was wearing or who I was as a person, but I eventually decided to cut my hair off because I realized it wasn't really bringing me any joy. I didn't have a point of that. There wasn't a point of me having hair, so I cut it off, and after that, I realized that I sort of have broken a barrier of the expectations people had of me and from that point I felt like I was sort of unstoppable and I didn't really have a reason to be anybody but myself. She also opened up about her first leap into the unusual. Dina bought this shirt with her mom her sophomore year. Its unusual design inspired Dina to take her first step into finding her own personal joy and not care what others thought. It's really cool that you can take things that you find and make them a part of you and make it also a part of your expression and a part of your joy. You can follow Earwigs Anonymous on Instagram to look through these designs or find Dina working hard on our school newspaper or walking through the halls. Thanks, Iriana. Be sure to check her out. You may be wondering what is going on in the world today. Well, Victor Martinez is here to catch you up for your top three. Victor? Thanks, Evan. First, the future of Brexit became even more uncertain when Theresa May's Brexit deal was rejected by 230 votes, which is the biggest defeat in the House of Commons for, the, for a prime minister in British history. This leaves the UK pressed for time and unable to settle on an orderly withdrawal from the European Union, which is supposed to take place on March 29th of this year. Next, Netflix has announced that it will be raising its US prices by 13 to 18 percent, which is its largest price increase since its launch. This will help the company pay for its investment in original shows and films, as well as paying off heavy debt assumed to ward off st streaming rivals such as Amazon, Disney, and AT&T. Last, Austin FC became Austin's first major league sports team yesterday. The 27th major league soccer team will begin play in 2021 at a new 20,000 seat stadium in North Austin. Mayor Steve Adler stated, this is a big thing and I'm proud to be a part of it. Thanks, Victor. After the break, we have a new CTE feature from reporter Brooke Meredith, but first these announcements and a quick word from our sponsor. Texas Best Mini Donuts is a proud sponsor of CPHS News. Go check them out by CPMS and Free Wills Baptist Church off of Cypress Creek. Find them on Instagram at texas.mini.donuts. Smokey Moe's Barbecue, the best barbecue that money can buy. Proudly supporting Cedar Park High School. Introducing the new CPHS News app, where you can rewatch segments from the Wolfcast that you missed the day of. 
Well, you can also read top story articles from the Wolfpack and never miss the final score. Don't forget to turn on notifications to keep up to date with important alerts. Download the CPHS News app today. Many of us already know that theater is a very big program here at school. But besides the credits it gives, theater can have a lot of other uses, even outside of school campus. We have Brooke Meredith to tell you more about what theater is in and out of school doors on CTE Class Feature. So theater, the classes with groups of people with actual talent, and some using it as a blow-off class. Theater has such a huge role in entertainment. It is connected to so many careers such as acting in a movie or performing in a play. Acting takes a lot of work and talent, and theater class can give you a good head start. Here at Cedar Park, there's a lot of different types of theater, like technical, musical, production, arts, and just normal theater. These classes are all very different from each other, but they all come together to have the same idea. And with how different these classes are, they can lead to some different job opportunities. Some of these, not specific to the class, are jobs like acting, theater director, technical director, all that fun stuff. But you want to know what else is really fun? Having a lot of money. These jobs can range from about a salary of $40,000 annually to $100,000. Hey, that's a good deal. But just like the first segment, we have to talk about why theater is important. More specifically, why they are important to the students. The theater classes we have here are huge influences on people's creativity and self-expression. Being with a large group of people with those two qualities, yet still being different from one another, can also help with cooperation and working together with other people. Hey, it might even help with self-confidence, like maybe working on stage or working with others. So theater. Theater classes are very good to take if you want to become more creative and expressive, and maybe even more confident. It also offers a lot of job opportunities that can pay real good. If any of these things sound interesting to you, try giving it a shot. Who knows, it might just change your life or something related to that. Theater sounds like a very interesting class with a lot of opportunities. Absolutely. In other great news, Natter King has won Cheer Coach of the Year. We will have more on that story tomorrow. Well, that's all we have for today with CPHS News. I'm Ellen Neal. And I'm Evan Vines. Have a great day or not, the choice is yours. Have a phenomenal day, Cedar Park. Hey there, Haven Finnell here. If you like what you saw, make sure to hit that like button. And if you enjoy all things CPHS, hit subscribe. Have a great day or not, the choice is yours.